Hey guys, it's Jacqueline, and today I wanted to share with you guys a bunch of fun and exciting new products. Recently, I got to go into the F shop, and I got to play around with a bunch of different makeup, but in particular, I got to play around with Charlotte Tilbury's makeup, which was very exciting for me because I've never really used her products before, so everything was brand new, and like I said, very exciting. And I actually ended up making a little vlog while I was there too, so I will leave a link to the vlog here if you want to check out more behind the scenes at the F shop. I will also leave a link to that in the description in case you want to check it out. But today I wanted to show you a bunch of Charlotte Tilbury's products and review them for you and let you know what I like and what I don't like and all that fun stuff. So to give you a little background on the brand, basically Charlotte Tilbury was actually a celebrity makeup artist in London and she'd been doing makeup for years and eventually she decided to make her own makeup brand. Originally, I'm pretty sure it was only launched within the UK and just recently it's been expanding worldwide. It was just this past summer that Charlotte Tilbury launched here in Canada, which was super exciting because I finally get to try all those products that I hear all the UK YouTubers talking about, so I was very excited to say the least. So I guess we might as well get started and hop on all into the fun stuff. So first I have this little makeup bag here, and this is of course from Charlotte Tilbury, and it's got all these little kisses on top, I think it's really cute. And it's actually really funny, it's got this little thing on the back that says, give a woman the right makeup and she can conquer the world. Fierce, fierce, I like it. So inside, there is a bunch of little goodies, whoa, I almost spilled it all open, that would have been bad. Like I mentioned before, Charlotte Tilbury is a celebrity makeup artist, and with her makeup line, she designed a bunch of different looks based off of the celebrities and the iconic looks that were created on those celebrities. So I'm pretty sure there's about 10 of them. So in this little bag here, it was actually the Golden Goddess look, which, which celebrity was that based off of? Ooh, I probably should have looked that up beforehand. But if you go to the website, it tells you all the celebrities that each look is based off of. So this kit here is like the little Golden Goddess look. So there's a bunch of different products that you can buy all in one little bundle that will get you that like iconic look. And it's actually really cool on her website, and she has like a YouTube channel too actually, she shows you how to use each product and how you would use it to achieve that look. So the first product that I have in here was probably what I was most excited for, and I think I had heard the most hype online about this, so I was super excited to try it out and see it in the flesh for the first time. And this is the iconic Filmstar Bronze and Glow. So this is kind of like a little mini highlight and contour kit, so it's supposed to help sculpt and then help like add a glow to your face. And the highlight in this is absolutely incredible. First of all, the powders are like such a creamy and buttery like consistency. They're not chalky at all. But this highlight is so beautiful. It's got this amazing golden sheen to it, but there's no glitter inside, which is really important because I know for myself, I really dislike chunky glittery highlighters, but this one is just such a beautiful glowy product. It's almost like undetectable on the skin. You can't tell that you're wearing it. It's just one of those products that you put on your skin and instantly it looks like you've got so much like life to your skin and it looks so glowy. I feel like I said the word glowy like eight times, but it really does look like that. And I actually put some on my cheeks today and like down the bridge of my nose and on my um, cupid's bow. And I don't know if you can tell, but it is, oh, it is so pretty. I love, love, love this highlighter. And then it also comes with a sculpt color, which is like the contour kind of bronzer kind of color. And this one is definitely really light. I'm pretty sure there is a medium to dark little palette of this as well. Um, so if you do have a deeper skin tone, this color probably wouldn't be dark enough for you. Even on my own skin, I find that once I'm a bit more tanned, this can be a bit too light for my skin. Um, but it'll definitely be better when I'm a bit more paler in like the winter and fall time. But overall, this thing is totally worth the hype and I'm so excited to finally have my hands on it. For me, this product is definitely the standout of the entire range. I think this is such an incredible product. And I love having highlighters and if you love highlighters, you should definitely check this out because it's definitely up there for one of the best highlighters that I've ever tried in my life, which I think is saying a lot. Okay, so the next product that I have in here is actually a blush, and this is the Blush in Ecstasy. And all of her blushes are really cool because they actually have an outer ring of like a lighter color, and then there's like the pop of color in the center of the blush. So what you're meant to do with them is kind of swirl your brush around and then pop that on your cheeks. And then do the little color in the center, pop your brush in there, and put that just on the apple of the cheeks. And I actually really like this. There's a bit of a sheen inside. The color is kind of like a pinky, coral, very wearable, everyday kind of color. And I find it works really nicely with more of like my olive complexion. So I've really been liking this. And I'm actually wearing this blush today on my cheeks. And I tried to basically wear as many of these products on my skin as I could so you could see how they look. But I'm also kind of thinking of doing a tutorial either on this look or creating a different look with a bunch of these products. So you can see how they work like in action. 
I find with makeup, it's one thing to talk about it and like swatch it on the skin, but it's a completely different story to see how it actually works and how it applies. So let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial with all these products, or at least as many as I can put on my face, um, because I would love to do that. So the next thing that I have in here is actually a mascara. And this is the Full Fat Lashes Mascara. This mascara promises a lot. It says it's supposed to curl, separate, add volume, length, and drama. So that is a lot of promises for a mascara, so I was really eager to try this. Especially because I'm always the type of person who is always on the hunt for another mascara. Even though I love my mascaras that I use, I always love discovering new mascaras. It's kind of like an ongoing search for the perfect mascara. And initially I was kind of freaked out because, well not freaked out, I just didn't know if I was going to love it because it has a very fluffy, um, fibrous brush. And I'm typically more of a person who likes more of the plastic brushes, so I was kind of skeptical at first. I actually ended up surprising myself and I actually ended up really liking this mascara despite my skepticism. Skepticism? Skeptical. Skep Am I saying that right? Skepticism. I always end up watching my videos back and I'm like, what am I saying? That wasn't even a word. Skepticism. I think that's a word. Skept I was very skeptical. You know what I'm trying to say. I was very skeptical of this product in the beginning, but I ended up really liking it. The one complaint though that I have with this is that it's not waterproof, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't come in a waterproof formula, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I personally prefer a waterproof mascara just because I have very oily eyelids and I find that not just this mascara, but basically every mascara that isn't waterproof is that it gets like smudgy and smears um, on my eyelids just because I've got very oily eyelids. So although I do like this, I do find after a long day, if it's really humid out, it will smudge and smear. So be cautious if you've got oily eyelids like me because this could be a mess on you. Just saying. This next product here is actually an eye powder pencil. And what this is, is kind of like an eyeliner, but it's intended to set like a powder eyeshadow. So you have like that really subtle blendable soft look but it has the longevity and it applies like an eyeliner if that makes any sense at all I actually really like the color of this pencil I believe this is the shade Sophia for some reason the name isn't on this pencil at all it's basically this really warm brown color but there's little flecks of golden little shimmers inside so I like to use this in my lash line I did it actually on my both upper and lower today but it's nice because it's soft and subtle like an eyeshadow would be but it's way easier to apply because it's in a pencil form. This actually reminds me a lot of the Marc Jacobs pencil that I always talk about, but this one's way more powdery when it finishes, so it's a lot more subtle, I find. But I really like this one. Okay, the next thing that I have in here is actually an eyeshadow palette, and this, I think, actually ended up getting mixed up because inside this little bag, I think it was supposed to be the Golden Goddess eyeshadow palette, but I ended up getting the Fallen Angel palette, which is very exciting because I'm pretty sure this is like a limited edition Christmas palette that isn't even out yet. So even though this is the wrong palette, I'm pretty excited about this one. I've really been loving the bronzy and champagne-y colors in here. So it basically comes with like a silver, a champagne, bronze, and like a black color. Like I said before, they feel so smooth and they blend super, super easily. But what I really like about these, like I said with the highlighter, is that there's no chunky glitter inside. I think I'm so used to using that Naked palette, the original, which has very chunky and glittery eyeshadows that it's so refreshing to use something that has a beautiful glow and shine to it but without that chunky dramatic glitter effect like I said with all the other products I am wearing this on my eyes but it's such a nice quad that you can do a very light everyday look but you do have the darker colors to kind of smoke it out and get it a little more dramatic so I'm actually really impressed with the eyeshadows like I said with the highlighter kit this is probably another standout out of all the products that I've tried I'm really really excited about this and then the rest of the products in this little kit are just some lip products. So there's a little lip liner in here, and this is in the shade Pillow Talk. It's a really creamy, blendable, soft pink color. It's really neutral, and I know I'm going to be getting a ton of wear out of this. So I'm really loving that. And then for lipstick, it comes with this one in Stoned Rose, which is an everyday, very wearable, my lips a bit better kind of color. Which you guys know, I'm all about neutral lips, so I've really been loving this. This lipstick is just super creamy and really glossy and really easy to wear, which I like. And can we just take a moment for how amazing the packaging is on these things? I really love how Charlotte Tilbury has packaged a lot of her products because they look so luxurious and they just are so, so beautiful. They all have this amazing like rose gold detail on all the products. But the lipsticks in particular, oh, I'm such, such a fan of the way they look. I will admit that I am one of those people who is a complete sucker for packaging. If a brand has really nice packaging, 
I am just way more drawn into it and way more inclined to buy something from it. So a product like this, with packaging like this, I am completely sold already. And last but not least, in the little kit, there is a little lip gloss, and I'm not a huge lip gloss person, but I have thoroughly been enjoying this. I'm wearing this on my lips right now. I love the way it looks on camera. It's super glowy, and it does have little shimmers inside, but it's a very subtle, neutral kind of tone color. So nothing too crazy, and it's also cute and little, so it fits perfectly in your handbag. So that was everything that comes inside of the little Golden Goddess kit. It's nice because it does really cover everything in terms of makeup, with the exception of like your foundation. I really love the Golden Goddess kit and everything that it's about. I'm so into super neutral, glowy, bronzy, smoky products. I think that's really beautiful and that's my favorite makeup look to do. So been loving that. Moving on to some other lip products that I got to try out. I got a bunch of lipsticks and I'm so excited about them because I love lipsticks. They're like one of my favorite makeup things to receive. So I actually got to try out four of the new Matte Revolution lipsticks, which is so exciting because I love the idea behind these. So basically, the shape of these lipsticks, which is kind of like a square shape, is actually meant to replicate like the classic square lip brush. So these guys are really easy to apply straight from the bullet, and they're all super, super matte, but they're very creamy, and they're not going to dry you out, which is really awesome. So the lipsticks that I have here are Love Liberty, and this one is kind of like a light red blue based berry kind of color and I really like this one I think this will be really nice come fall time I think it'll be nice too to kind of blend it out and get more of like a berry like stain look on the lips I think that'll be really nice so that was Love Liberty and then I have Glatzenberry here and this one is like probably my favorite from the collection oh but I like the mmm I think this one's my favorite this one's really nice I believe this one was inspired by Rihanna or Rita Ora both of them I don't know this one's just such a pretty purpley, rich berry color. This is gonna be amazing for winter. I cannot wait to wear this. I know I'm gonna be getting a ton of use out of this. The next one here is Birkin Brown, and this one is probably my second favorite. It's a really rich, chocolatey, orange brown kind of color. I really like this color just because since it does have that brown base, it's still pretty neutral on the lips, but since it's more of an intense color and rich color, especially on my skin tone, I find that it's really nice for nighttime. And I just love the look of this. I think this would be so amazing too if you have a deeper skin tone as like an everyday neutral. Oh, this is so pretty. Love that one. And then the last Matte Revolution lipstick that I have is this one here. This is Bond Girl. And this one is kind of like a faded, vintage kind of red color. It's not as intense as like a cherry red. It's kind of in between, I don't even know how to describe it, it's kind of like a dusty red color. It's really interesting. I don't have any other lipsticks like this in my lipstick collection. So yeah, really excited about all the new matte revolutions. I think they are such a nice formula. I'm always on the hunt for a good matte lipstick that doesn't dry out your lips. I really like the MAC ones, I like these ones, and those are probably the only two ones right now that I really like that are matte lipsticks. Um, I just find some matte lipsticks are so drying and make your lips look so crinkly and wrinkly and not very flattering. So I like how these ones are very creamy on the lips but still have that matte finish. So loving those guys. This next product here is just a lip balm. This is called Lip Magic. I am a huge lip balm addict so I'm so excited to have this. And I really love the way this works to prime your lips before putting on a lipstick. This next product that I have here, I had actually never heard of it before, and they were telling me while I was in the shop that this is like one of her most popular products, and this is the Wonder Glow, and this, oh, oh, I forgot this was a twist. So basically what this is, you can use it as a makeup primer, you can mix it in with your foundation, or you can use it just as like a liquid highlighter. It's this really glowy, beautiful, golden-y cream. I never know how to describe highlighters without saying beautiful, golden-y glow. But that's literally what it is. It gives you that really nice, hydrated, dewy, lit from within kind of look. And I really like this. I've been really loving mixing this in with my Makeup Forever HD foundation. That foundation is pretty matte. It doesn't have too much of a sheen to it. So I really like mixing it in and just giving it more of like a dewy, fresh glow. So really been loving that. There's also a bunch of different ways you can use it. So I've been experimenting putting it over top of foundation, underneath, all over, just highlighting certain areas. Um, and yeah, I really love the effect you get with that. It makes your skin look so healthy and supple. This next product here is actually called Supermodel Body. And this is really cool. So what you do is you pop it open 
twist it open, and you kind of like squeeze it and roll this across your body. This is meant to be used on like your arms and your like chest and legs or wherever else you want to have a beautiful golden glow. It gives you a little bit of like a bronzy color, but it just gives you this really nice subtle sheen. Again, it's not going to be a chunky sparkle that's on you, but it's just this really nice soft glow. Ooh, and I also have this guy. It just kind of blended in with all the lipsticks over here. This is really cool. So it's kind of like a cream blush. It's called a beach stick. And it's really great because you can just pop it in your bag and just kind of like put it on your cheeks, blend it, and go. It's a really nice, bright, summery pink kind of color. This color is way more intense in the tube. Once you get it on the skin and actually blend it out, it's not too intense of like a blush color. It's really nice, really subtle, and really easy to wear. I'm already a huge fan of cream blush, so I'm super excited to have this one in my collection as well. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention that these can be used on your lips as well. It's kind of like a lip and a cheek color, so it's really nice because it's super versatile and it's really easy to use on the go. So I've been loving that. Okay, and the last product that I have here is this Multi Miracle Glow. And this is a cleanser, mask, and balm for baby soft skin. This has a ton of rose inside. It smells very, very floral. I'm pretty particular about the floral fragrances that I like, but I actually really like the rosy scent of this. So like the name says, there's a bunch of different ways that you can use it. You can use it like a mask and let it like soak in, and then you can use it as a cleanser and wipe it off. I personally like to use this kind of just like as a body butter before bed. So I just kind of like rub it all over my body and then put my PJs on and go to bed. And it's super softening and super soothing. It is super moisturizing though, so I don't think I need it as much now in like the summertime. But come fall and winter, I think I'll be using this and loving this a lot more. But for now, it will sit on my vanity and look pretty and beautiful. So those are all the Charlotte Tilbury makeup products I wanted to show you guys today. Like I said, standouts for me were definitely the Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette. I love the eyeshadow palettes and the Matte Revolution lipsticks are uh, to die for. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Huge shout out to the F Shop for letting me come in and play around with all their makeup goodies. I had such a fun day. Like I said, I will leave the link to that video in the description in case you want to check out that vlog. Other than that, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know if you've ever heard of Charlotte Tilbury's makeup or if there's any products that you've been eyeing or want to try because I would love to know. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!